You're a pretty fashionable guy, as, mm -hmm. as we can see from, from your, what you're wearing right now. Um, everyone remembers the fur coat you had, the mm -hmm. turtleneck sweaters. Um, can you describe your thought process on the game day as far as what to wear and how to get them? Um, you know, for a game day, I really just, you know, try to, you know, dress to impress. You know, I feel like, you know, if you dress nice and you feel good, then you're going to play good. You know, I think, you know, you should, you know, dress as, you know, how you play. And, you know, for me, I, I'm a very confident player on and off the floor. Mm -hmm. So you're from Flint, Michigan, and you said that, I remember you said that you've never really been to anywhere else when growing up and now you're in LA so it's new. Yeah. Um, how do you balance the LA lifestyle and basketball? Um, I think that, you know, my main love is basketball and, you know, I, I, I let nothing get in between that. And, um, you know, for me, that's always been my number one priority. So, you know, I just kind of keep it simple. You know, I, I keep that as the number one priority. And then if, if things can fit in to my schedule, then they fit in. And if they can't, they can't. We're gonna play a quick rapid fire game. Gotcha. Um, so, who, who's the most fashionable guy in the NBA? Uh, me. Who's the worst dress on the Lakers? Worst dress? Yeah, worst uh, dress. Alonzo. Alonzo? Yeah. Funniest teammate? Uh, Alonzo. Who's the who's the who talks the most trash in the league? In the league? Yeah. Um, man, great question. Great question. Draymond, CP. Draymond. Draymond. Favorite thing about LA? Um. Food. Favorite thing, favorite city outside of LA? Uh, Toronto. What's the toughest players you, get, you play against so far? Uh, Andre Kumbo, KD, and LeBron. MJ or LeBron? Uh, MJ. Kobe or LeBron? Uh, mm, I don't know. <laughs> Go Kobe. Do you think LeBron will stay or will he leave? Um, you know, I'm not sure. You know, I think that, you know, LeBron is a you know a loyal guy to um, you know his circumstances, but um, at the end of the day, you know he's chasing greatness and you know what he wants to do is win rings and he's going to do what's you know best for him and his family. So, so let's talk about future. Um, I know Kobe is your, your mentor. Um, do you think that Lakers now has been searching for the new face of the franchise? Is it safe to say that you can be that dude and carry on the, the torch? Uh, I definitely think I can be that guy. Um, you know, I strive to be, you know, a great basketball player, um, and you know, I work really hard to, you know, not just be a regular player. You know, I want to be a great player in this league, and um, you know, hopefully one day I can, you know, get up there with, you know, the best of those guys, and you know, with that comes, you know, being you know, a franchise player. Last question before we let you go: What can we expect from Kyle Kuzma next season? A uh, whole different player, you know, a player that is, you know, going to be much stronger, uh, you know, more, you know, just more physical, you know, just be in the gym as much as possible, uh, lift a lot, you know, I'm really trying to work on my body, um, get stronger and, uh, you know, more flexible, um, you know, something I kind of lacked this year and, um, you know, if I think I can do that, then I think I can take another step.